Hello everyone, welcome to uh, another instalment of death metal, black metal vinyl uh, from my collection. It's Sunday, it's the uh, middle of July, I just had a lovely roast dinner so I've got full strength and full energy to power ahead with some metal. Now starting you off, I have this which not many of you will have seen. This is a live album uh, by Death on Metalized Blood Records. Uh, it is a bootleg. Uh, this one was recorded in Germany, in Stuttgart, on the 19th of December 1991. Uh, that's the back. So all you keen death fans will know from the date that this was on the Inhuman tour, uh, promoting the, the Human album. Um, there's the vinyl. Pretty cool recording. Uh, tracks for all four of their records up until that date. So it starts off with Suicide Machine, Zombie Ritual, Living Monstrosity, Denial of Life, Pull the Plugs. It's got all the hits. Um, sometimes bootlegs haven't got the best sound quality. This one is actually really, really good. Uh, I think it might have been done from the mixing desk, this one. So it sometimes pops up on eBay. Expect to pay 20 to £30 pounds for this one. Uh, but look out for it because Death Live albums not the easiest things to come uh, by and uh, it comes recommended by me. So that's the first one. Um, what I wanted to do as well today, I've showed you a lot of my original Cannibal Corpse uh, vinyl, but I do also own the reissue uh, vinyls of, of a number of them. This is Butchered at Birth with the new, uh, and not quite as good logo in my opinion. Um, this has got the extreme cover on the front, whereas the original copy I have uh, has the red cover uh, with this graphic on the inner sleeve. Uh, that's the back. This is the Back on Black uh, edition. I believe this is the... Uh, actually, I don't think this one is. This one, I think, is on clear vinyl. Um, it's got the lyrics and other graphics and credits inside. There, on heavyweight 180 gram vinyl. Just to show you this one here. There you go. And that one is completely clear. Uh, one of their best LPs, in my opinion, when you're talking about Cannibal Corpse, um, definitely the first four L LPs with Barnes uh, were the, was their best stuff. I like Corpse Grinder Fisher, uh, but I think in terms of songwriting, uh, memorable tracks, the first four L LPs are really where it's at with Cannibal Corpse. So that one's well worth picking hold of. You can get that from Plastic Head in the UK. Uh, which are the distro for Back on Black, or you can go on the Back on Black website to get more information as well. Um, but you can pick this up pretty cheaply on eBay as well. Okay, uh, moving on, more Cannibal Corpse. This is Bloodthirst, and this is the limited edition coloured vinyl pressing, which I'll show you now. Blue vinyl, really cool. Good album. This is one which features Corpse Grinder Fisher. I believe this was the second album which uh, George Fisher did with the band. Um, originally released in 99. Once again, gatefold, lyrics and credits on there. Now you can always tell with Back on Black if you've got a first pressing because it will say limited edition and it will tell you if it's coloured vinyl because Back on Black always do their first pressings regardless of band on a coloured or a special vinyl. Um, usually after the, the first pressing they'll go to a standard black or a standard red. So you can always tell if you've got original first pressing because it will say that on the back. So that's Bloodthirst. Kill, which is one of their better albums with Corpse Grinder I think. Probably, probably their best one. Uh, Evisceration Plague was excellent though, which was their latest record. Uh, too. Um, so they're, they're, they're certainly becoming a better band uh, recently uh, in terms of Corpse Grinders output. I think Vile was a good album, Bloodthirst was a good album, Gallery of Suicide was so-so, uh, but they seem to be coming back a little bit more on form now. Uh, that's the back cover. Once again this is the first pressing limited edition uh, coloured vinyl, which I believe actually this one's blue as well. Let's show you. There you go, blue vinyl again. And as of all these back on blacks, they're always matte sleeves, which I hate. <laughs> and Lyricinus, 
and credits. Um, yeah, I've, I've always mentioned this about Back on Black. Uh, I wish they would make the sleeves glossy. But they always tell me whenever I complain it's that it stops the fingerprints showing up. But it doesn't really do that at all, in my opinion. But there you go. So Cannibal Corpse. Uh, moving on to the Czech Republic. A little bit of black metal. Uh, now this is Il Sanguinero. This is a reissue with some live tracks of their Kona Klev album. Uh, Czech Republic band on Slave of Satan, which is a Czech record label. Uh, this is, that's the back cover. This is number 37 of only 550 in the world. So Maniac Butcher albums do tend to be quite thin on the ground. The vinyl is very nice. It's a nice clear vinyl. I believe there were, there were pressings of this on clear and black vinyl with clear vinyl uh, being significantly less. So that's the rarer of the two. And it has a info lyric uh, sleeve inside or insert sheet which has their discography, a bit about the band and lyrics on the, on the other side. Um, it's really raw black metal but it's actually it's actually very good um, if you have a look on YouTube they do a hilarious video um, so if, if you go on onto YouTube and, and click on to Maniac Butcher and watch some of their promo videos um, it's comedy gold but it's, it's great stuff the music on this is fantastic so try and get a copy of that if you can uh, quite a lot, a lot of reissues this, this week. This is the reissue on Cargo Records, part of Roadrunner of Obituary from Florida. Their classic 89 debut, Slowly We Rot, uh, with a new back cover. And quite cool inside this one. It's got some more photographs there. And it's got a write-up by Phil Alexander. Um who used to write for Kerrang! magazine, Raw, and so on and so forth. One at 80 gram vinyl, it sounds great. And this one, like the CD, has a couple of bonus tracks, Find the Arise and Like the Dead, which are the demo versions. So, nice pressing this one, well worth having in your collection. Moving on to original vinyl, this is the original 89 pressing on Earache Records of Symphonies of Sickness by Carcass. That's the back cover. This is a famous album, really, which, which really moved on the gore grind and started it off, really. Uh, the sort of gore grind scene, bands like Exhumed, General Surgery, um, Hemorrhage, Makitazo, stuff like that. And it does include the gore in a sleeve with lyrics. Um, but this is this bears no introduction at all. This is an absolute classic death metal album. If you don't own this in your collection, get it in your collection as soon as possible. Uh, because songwriting rock wise, it's night and days on from their debut, Rika Putrefaction. It's just fantastic, and I think this is their best album they ever made. Um, so I heartily recommend it. And if you can get the Gatefold edition like me, um, it's a bonus. Okay, a couple of more reissues now. We're going to be talking about a really cool band, one of the one of the progenitors of the death metal style. This is again on back on black. This is the Seven Churches reissue. This is once again a first pressing, limited, coloured vinyl. Uh, this one's one of my favourite back on black releases. Um, it comes with the inner sleeve. Uh, sorry, with the gatefold with the cool pictures, lyrics. But what I like most about this particular LP is Back on Black's choice of vinyl, which I think is stunning. Look at that amazing snow white vinyl along with that label. It just looks really, really cool. So this really started off a lot of people getting in, into death metal. Um, tracks like The Exorcist, which was covered by Cannibal Corpse in 93 on the Hammer Smash Faced e e EP, Fallen Angel, Seven Churches, Evil Warriors, Burning in Hell, and the last track, which named a genre, Death Metal. So I'd like to get an original copy of this on combat 
Um, but this one sounds really good. It's 180 gram vinyl, as all the back on black reissues are. So get that in your collection as soon as you can. It's a bit of history. This is their second album on original UK pressing on Under One Flag, which was part of Combat Records. This is Beyond the Gates, which is a lot, it's a lot thrashier. It's a little bit, it's, it's not quite as frantic as the debut. Um, but this is the original vinyl. You can tell that because it opens up. So you can, you open the gates, I'll show you this here. And you've got like a scene which opens up and it's quite elaborate really this. I'll hold it up for you so you can see it. So that's the album basically folds out on itself. Which is a bit different, let's say. It's good, good, very good packaging. Inside this is the original record, pictures and lyrics. And uh, just show you the vinyl quickly. It's black vinyl, under one flag, or category number flag three. So there's that one. Let's see if I can put it back together okay. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle that one. But it's a good record. Um, this one goes for quite a bit of money now. You easily pay £25 for this being the original. It has been reissued by Back on Black uh, with a slightly recolored photograph uh, picture. That's more of a blue and that's more of a red. So just see, see the differences there. Okay, the last one I want to show you today is another classic history genre defining LP. This is Welcome to Hell. Once again, sorry guys, but another Back on Black. I wanted to show you a lot of those this week. Um, this is an original limited edition coloured vinyl first pressing, double vinyl. That's the back. It's a real heavy record, this one. 180 gram, as all they are, as they all are. Lyric in a sleeve, gatefold. And just to show you the vinyl, it's another clear vinyl, I think, this one, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Clear vinyl. Venom, welcome to hell. Um, musically, they are what they are. Um, they were never the most talented band. I think the real thing with Venom is they is they inspired people to to dress a certain way. They inspired people to make music a certain way. They really brought like a punk ethos to metal, uh, which sort of translated in in a great deal of bands just picking up guitars and drums without really knowing how to how to play. Metallica started off that way. Slayer did too. And this is probably one of the most influential metal records of all time. I think musically, if you listen to this, having coming straight from bands like Suffocation and Deicide, you might think that it's a little bit soft and a bit odd. But if you listen to this when this came out in 1881, there was really nothing else like it. So this is real history. Try and get yourself a, a little copy of this. This is where black metal, this is where death metal really began. So... That's just a few of the records in my collection. I wanted to get through a lot of those B.O.B. B -O -B, uh, reissues and show you what they look like and what the first pressing vinyl looks like. So there'll be some more LP reviews and uh, book reviews uh, posted soon. So I recently got Metallion, the Slayer Diaries in the post on Friday. A lot more vinyl to go through as well. So I shall be posting a video soon. Have a great week and I'll see you all soon.